All right, I've got a bit of a different build this time. This one isn't a guitar pedal. This is um, what's been called the Devil's Triangle Drone Synth by Paul in the lab. And he's a chap apparently from Manchester, near, maybe near where I'm from, which is good. So I've enjoyed making a fellow Mancunian circuit. This is a drone synth, so it's like a, it just makes a drone noise. I mean, I'm really into sun and drone music and stuff like that, so I think it's going to work very well. I've tested it, and it works very well with the tuning that I use on my guitar. So this would work really well as being like a bass, a bass end to some songs or something like that. you got four ICs in there, a couple of capacitors, a load of resistors, three diodes. Now what I want to debunk about this as it's not really mentioned on his Paul's page that the, what potentiometers is to use and I've used 100k log potentiometers on this I've used on on switches but I think you can use on off switches because basically it's just turning each of the three um, drones on and then these control the kind of pitch so it's like high or low pitch and you just plug it in for a quarter inch jack. I mean, I, I had to kind of figure out how to how to wire it up because it's there's not as someone who doesn't know loads and loads about wiring stuff up, it's it was a little bit tricky and I thought it would be a trial and error job, but actually I've been quite successful of it's worked first time. I've just got it hooked up to a, a nine volt battery at the moment and I've also just crudely put this on off switch. So I'll attach that, I've just got crocodile clips at the moment as it's prototyping. I've got that hooked up to my mixer. That's a quarter inch jack hooked up to my mixer, which is a USB, which is hooked up to my laptop, which is hooked up to some speakers here. I was thinking that I'd play it through my guitar amps, but because it's so bassy, I don't know if it equates to more like a bass. Maybe I should wait until I get a bass amp and I'd put it through a lovely you know, orange bass um, amp and through the bass speaker and it would sound amazing, I think. Um, I'm just going to do a quick sound demo of what this sounds like. I have put a little bit of distortion on the line, a little bit of reverb, a little bit of delay, a little bit of distortion, but if I was doing a noise gig or something like that, that's kind of what I would hook it up with. I can't wait to try it with my reverb. Okay, I'm going to turn this on. You can hear the uh, the drone already kicking off. And if I move the potentiometers, they're all on at the moment. So you can switch them, three switches off. Then it just activates each drone. One, two, three. So you get the general idea of that. I'll do a proper sound demo when I've got this all boxed up. Um, I found this circuit diagram online on Friday night and it's uh, Monday afternoon. So it didn't take me, it just took me over the weekend to build this. Um, various stages of running out of the electronic shop to get different things. Um, but I want to say to Paul from in the lab, that's a, that's a great little project. I think it's cool. Um, I'm going to have a lot of fun messing about with it on my own. Um, I'm not going to sell it. So he's 
quite annoyed that a lot of people make these and they sell them and they don't credit him. I think that's just really not a not a great thing to do is to get someone else's circuit and then sell it for your own profit. I think it it harms the community that that we you know the build pedals and electronics effects. It's um I don't think it's great. I think it's it's a community where we should share things and um just share our different experiences because everybody makes these things differently and maybe adds a mod to it or anything like that but you should always credit the original person who came up with the idea and apparently this guy paul in the lab i'll leave um a link to his page where you can find this circuit and credit him if you make it and which is what i've done because i just think the guy seems quite annoyed that people are, are selling his thing on on ebay this this circuit it's like well you know a lot of times when you put stuff on on ebay or not on ebay when you put on stuff on on the internet at large it, if it's of any value to someone and you're putting it up there for free it's just going to get raped and pillaged um but still you know you should respect the the author of of these things um, you know, he didn't he didn't make this. I made this, but I used his his recipe. If you know what I mean, it's like um, it's like Jamie Oliver's cookbook. You know, you get Jamie Oliver's cookbook. You credit him. This is Jamie Oliver's casserole. This is Paul in the Labs. Devil's Triangle Drone Synth. I'm gonna box this up, and then I'll do a proper sound demo. I may do it through my Orange Amp, but I'm just a little bit nervous that it might be a bit too bassy. And I don't want to blow my tube or anything like that. Okay, so following on from this drone project, um, I had the idea that I want it to be a bit more than just a drone pedal. I want it to be a full-on kind of synthesizer box with its own effects on it. So with synthesizers or, you know, anything like that, I, I like resonance and cutoff. So I want a resonance and cutoff filter here, attached to the drone. My other favourite effect on synthesizers or waves is, is distortion. So I want a distortion here. And I love bit crushers as well, so I'm going to put a bit crusher on there. And then just to top it off, I just want a white noise generator. So I can just flick on a white noise generator if I want. But they're going to have to bypass somehow, so you know I can turn one off. So I can have it off or on. So there might have to be quite a few bypass switches in here. Don't know about the resonance and cough. So that's the first one I'm going to try and connect. I'll build the resonance and cut off and then attach it to the drone and see how it works. Yeah, so this is going to be quite a big project now because I want my own. Because what I used to do, I used to link up a load of guitar pedals when I was doing noise gigs. I just have a bunch of guitar pedals linked up and that and they go through my mixer and it just make noise that way. So I'd have like a delay pedal, a couple of distortion pedals and a pitch shifter pedal and I'd make noise that way, but this is just a bit more of a controlled way of doing it. Okay, so I've just picked up my order from the store and I've got two piles of components and then I've also got a bunch of resistors here so I've got the resistors for both these projects the capacitors and all the little bits all set out and what I do then if I've got a couple of projects like this where I've got a big order lots of different things I'll get a little bag and I'll write on it what it is so that's the low pass filter that's the bit crusher and then my resistors I'll just keep to one side Okay, so here is the low pass filter completed, tested, it works. Yep, potential is in. I mean, I was on a bit of a time constraint yesterday and I made managed to build this in two hours, so um, it's not very complicated. There's only like 20 components in there, um, but it works and I tested it with the drone so I hooked it up to a test box and then hooked that up to the drone and it works resonance and cut off it's not as good as what I thought it would be but um maybe it'll be a bit better once actually when it's actually in the box and you and you can actually play with the thing properly because you can't really 
you can't really you can test it but you can't really play with it properly when it's in this kind of situation but I just know it works so that's fine for me so it will go back into its bag and I will start on the bit crusher now okay so this is my bit crusher effect that I've made but unfortunately it is not working I'm getting a signal through it but the effect isn't coming through so I'm giving it all a wiggle and press the ICs in resoldered some of the parts on the back but it's still not firing into life so I'm either going to have to make another one or maybe change the potentiometer to the proper 2k but I heard you can make it with one meg log ones which is what this is this is what happens with the board. it's hit and miss Mo mostly hit but this time it is a miss and I'm gonna make it work because I never let a pedal defeat me so I'm gonna get it to fire into life somehow okay so this is the distortion section of my synth I've just tested it through my guitar just to make sure it's working and it does um, so it's actually quite a, a simple little distortion pedal and it's quite nice for guitar um, I did have a problem it didn't work and I realized that one of these um, capacitors was in the wrong way around and then I just I replaced what it said on the diagram with red LEDs because I like I prefer red LEDs in distortion so I think it gives it a bit of a head more heavier sound or just a chunkier distortion it was a very very basic distortion circuit and that's all I wanted for this synthesizer I don't need anything like too flash um, it's just got a level and a gain on it. Um, I need a three pole double throw switch to go so this to make this work in, in the synth. So I'm going to have to dash out and get one of those later. Um, now, um, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to test that this works through the synth. So I'm going to get this test box and hook it up to the synth. It's actually a nice circuit for a guitar, and I'm like, oh, I might have to make another one just for a guitar pedal, because it's quite nice. I like it. And this is just the guts of this um, drone and low-pass filter together. As you can see, I've got a lot of stuff going to the um, positive and a lot going to the ground. So I've made these little Vero strips so I can shove all of that stuff over there without having to bunch up too many cables. Um, as you can see it's getting a pretty complicated in there. Um, so what we need to do now is get the bit crusher working so that can go here and then the distortion unit which is going to go there and it will be one devil box. Okay, so I'm just going to do a little recorded run through of this drone, filter, distortion. There's no bit of crusher at the moment, so I've not done that. Here's what it sounds like. <laughs> 